Hey, welcome guys to the first playoff game between Raven and Zen. Uh, it's Lotus and NA. 770. We have the rules and uh, maps up shortly. So basically, uh, some of the point, uh, tanks have points. The default is 10 points. But as you can see, like some of the tanks like that, E4, V5, Sturve, Type 5, they're 11 points. And if you want to use any of those tanks, you need to compensate it with by playing some of these underpowered tanks like uh, Progetto E50 under uh, 60 TP. You can also play Artillery or Tron, but those are 12 points. That was corresponding to 9 tank points. Uh, max 1 TD, max 3 autoloaders. AVRE and Warhammer tanks are banned. And uh, for today, we have list of uh, predetermined maps one team has banned himmels the other one banned arctic if i'm not mistaken let me go and quickly verify that yeah so zen banned himmels at i7 uh, i7 is zen's uh, tank ban and uh, Raisin banned Arctic and they banned the artillery. So basically, artillery can be banned as a class altogether instead of one tank. We will have predictions starting, but it's on Twitch. I do not know how to do it on YouTube yet. Maybe something I can look. let it run for 30 minutes so yeah there's a twitch link mentioned in the description as well if you guys want to predict remember there is a five minute delay and it looks like both teams are ready the first map is proc uh, raisin home team they're going for defense I mean, that's what we have to do anyway. So they're going with the Sturm, Murat, 60, 277, T100 light tank, that double chieftains. Over on Zen side, we got a 260 Tehran, 60 TP. 260 TP, then 260 CS Murat. I do like this a little bit unusual lineup from Zen. We'll see how Raisin adapts. You know, Sturm usually means the turtle play. I am not a fan of those. We will see how it goes, though. Can Raisin pull it off? I'm very excited for this game today. I think it, it'll be a close one, though. At least we want to see a tiebreaker. But looking at the current setup, I do favor Zen's lineup mainly because they're attacking. It feels like Raisin, Raisin will go for Turtle, and Zen also have they have a Tehran. Uh, no batches from either team. Yeah, we do see one medium or two mediums from Zen and a medium and a light from Raisin. Bradley destroying some trees, maybe potato shad. Okay, so it does not look like does not look like a turtle though. Potato shad is going towards the four line, so I was wrong. Brad is going towards the field side. Light play major spots Kaiser, and he also spots a green. I didn't get to spot anyone else, but it. He could, if the light tank plays right, he can tell it, it is a one line play. And Razor is set up for uh, for a turtle. And we have seen this turtle, it gets beat like easily against the high level uh, comp teams, you know, and which these two are the top level teams. And it's very easy to get punished. You do need, you can probably have a guy at F9, F0, but you will still get punished. Kaiser with a blind shot on Sturv did not pen though. Also, if you're watching, that Sturve is at the wrong spot. If you are playing Turtle and you want to prevent, you would want to play the tur uh, Sturve at A5 on the low side so you do not get spotted. This, this basically, when you get spotted, the Sturve, we will get deleted. Ideally, a Sturve should play here, destroy trees. So if they are coming to punish your heavies from the 5 line, a Sturve can farm without getting damaged. Uh, at least that's what I feel. Could be wrong, you know. It has been multiple times. Kaiser 
got spotted again. Kind of continuously blind firing, you know, keeping the pressure on Bradley. And over on the other side, 277 and Murat's going up there. So basically, if uh, Zen decided to push these two heavies, they will have a huge overmatch because Murat and 277 are kind of out of position. Flame is trying to spot, but he needs to do a little bit better job. By this time, Zen does know that uh, it's a turtle, right? So they're setting up, organizing how to go about it. I think the audio is working, but we will do a quick audio check. Okay, looks like it is working. 260, both one, uh, 260 already managed to get into position. Actually, I'm not sure with the plays. You know, five lane play from Zen might not be that easier because they don't really have your typical meta tank. They have two 260 that are, they don't have gun depression, 60 DP, not the best DPM. So it looks like then the way they will be. Oh, Bradley puts a shot in. Managed to get in cover. So it looks like the way Raisin or Zen will be countering this play is by going on the putting cap pressure. 260 is very vulnerable to Surf. Surf can easily get shots on them and he puts a shot on Zoro and that's the tank that's forward, let alone Jake. He's not spotted. This cap will not work. 277 already in the middle. I was crit, you know, I was against Raisin's play, but actually it's working effectively against Zen's lineup. 260 CPs. In the bowl, potato shot took one, probably that was an itchy shot, and then put one in 60 TP. Kaiser is watching the backside, so there's no counter push. However, cap pressure is on 17 seconds. Now they have to peek. I think if they peek together and delete the tank, that will be idle. That's what they're going for. However, the punish will be coming. 277 takes a shot, 60 TP takes a shot, Murat takes a shot. They are going in. That's actually the right play. They will finish those 260. No shot from Tehran, though. I think he fired and missed. He's shooting at the wrong tank. Flash is also coming in. 60 DP puts a shot in. It can go either way. Raisin, they have basically spotted everyone. Tehran is spotted. Both 260 goes down, so they weren't messing around. Raisin's play was actually not to go for reset, but just go up and over and finish those 260s, and they were able to do it effectively. Now, the problem here is Farmbot's down to one shot, and these 260 are just free farming, so was that push worth it? Potato shot goes down. The HP is in favor of Zen. They do not have the tank advantage though, but this this push looked a little bit chaotic. The three heavies were one thing, but they needed someone over on six line to punish those 60 TPs because now 60s are just farming. I don't think the 277 or uh, Murad needed, needed to commit. They're they are going for Kaiser, 60s going for the other heavy. Kaiser will go down here. It is 4v3, Sturve, Light and a Murad. 60 takes another shot, Tehran is spotted. Tehran penned, or was it Tehran or 60? I'm not sure who penned, but it was a 700, so probably not Tehran. HP in favor of them, and they have a tank advantage. Flash takes another shot. Are those 60 firing HP though? Yeah, that play could have worked, and he takes another shot. I thought he would like lose the spot, maybe Tehran spotted him. Flame put a shot in Tehran, 2v4, not looking in favor of Raisin right now. Yeah, I did like the play from uh, Raisin to go up and over and kill those 260s. Maybe they needed the help of Murad, but just having like one or two tanks here would have basically made those 60s ineffective. Since they didn't have anyone here, those 60s were able to punish the, uh, the tanks that went up and over. And now both the 60s are coming for the cap. Bradley's not spotted. Light tank is. Maybe if light tank kills Tehran, I think Bradley can keep getting resets, but he will not be able to spot 60 TPs. Yeah, not panning either. 60 TP not known to have the best armor, but you know, when you need to pen them, they might bounce. Sturm took a itchy shot again. So I think Murat penned him and 60 TP shot itchy. Not sure what's up with 60 itchy. Flame AJ wants to finish Tehran. He has to. The cap pressure is on. Carib is going straight. He, he They know where they are. They will get spotted again. Missed the shot on Sweet P. I think this will be a wrap for the game one, unless something happens. I doubt it because basic Murat has suppressed. Light tank with a reset, tracked, he didn't finish, but Sweet P here will finish, will pen light though. Sturm goes down by Carib. Life of Sturm or Fixer TD, a tank gets around you, and that's probably it. Sweet is pushing Flame AJ, both 60s are on cap. It's just a matter of time. They all missed flame. 
down to three seconds and i think that is it round one goes to zen no no not goes to zen you got one reset play image hasn't given up yet brad puts two and then brad's one more shot he misses okay four seconds now now safe to say that round one goes to zen. it was close at one point but after the farm started was in Zen's favor. Going over damage, green in 60 TP, 4200 damage, seven shot, uh, seven out of eight. That's actually very decent damage from a 60 TP, and this was only possible because no one on the six line or seven line on the tracks. Carabin Murat, 3400 damage, three chills. Kaiser CS, 2200 damage. Kaboos in 62,000, 2000 assist, and uh, one shot of damage from Tehran. 260 essentially got on the cap, got it was able to do one shot of damage and then got jumped by five raisin stack or raisin side stirve Bradley and stirve with 3500 damage, flash and Murat 1200, uh, bring the pole in 60, 12, uh, 15, 1600 damage, two kills, and about around 1000 damage for the rest of the team. I feel you know when you're in a playoff or any round first win is very important you kind of get in that uh, you have you, your morale goes up you get in that mount mindset and obviously if you don't win the pressure's on you now now a uh, raisins attacking i forgot to play the intro Listen to the intro while I do an audio check as well. Prokhorovka, one of the first maps in the game. Teams start at the regular spawn points as they do in standard battles. Bases are separated from each other by the railway, so the defending team has to choose whether to send their vehicles to the left side, playing them in the center, or to the right of the railway, occupying the hill and a part of the village. The attacking team usually attacks the first base. However, the teams often go for face-to-face -face confrontation, seven-on-seven, -seven, in the hilly terrain at the center. That's why both teams frequently use vehicles with good gun depression angles and sturdy turrets Okay, everything looks good. Now, Zen on defense. They're going with the Minotauro. Well, that's not something I've seen in uh, rock defense before. I'm not sure where they'll put it. We'll see. Maybe it can hold one line. Uh, but besides that, they got a Bat, Murat, Chieftain, Valor. Not sure why, why a Valor, not just two Chieftains. A Light. And an S4 over on Raisin side. Double Chieftain, double Valors. Double Bat, Light. Not opting for any TDs and uh, both teams not going for any 11 point tanks in this match. Prokhorovka, one of the first maps in the game. Teams start at the regular spawn points as they do in standard battles. Bases are separated from each other by the railway, so the defending team has to choose whether to send their vehicles to the left side, playing them in the center, or to the right of the railway, occupying the hill and a part of the village. The attacking team usually attacks the first base. However, the teams often go for face-to-face -face confrontation, seven-on-seven, -seven, in the hilly terrain at the center. That's why both teams frequently use vehicles with good gun depression angles and sturdy turrets. Let's go round two. Let's see how the defending team set up. Will they be defensive, holding, turtling, or will they be aggressive?
Let's see what the plan is. Potato shot not loaded yet. Flash not loaded yet. What's happening here? Five seconds. Maybe no have the old OG Xbox or PlayStation. Regardless. So light angle towards the field spot. The heavies are kind of on the other side. Thinking about pushing. Flame takes a shot from Spectronic. Spectronic one flame zero as of now. Both uh, Tiefen and Valor are going forward. However, on the other side, three tanks turtling. And Zoro in the bad set holding. Nineland by himself. Playmate, you wanted round two. Both missed. Not an easy shot for Light. Don't have the best gun depression. And Tiefen and moving on the move. Playmate across the tracks. So if a raise didn't go, loses 200 on that jump. Things not going well for Flames. Get spotted again. Spot Zoro. So if Raisin goes to this 8 line, 8 9 line, they will have an advantage and they can even take out Zoro. It depends. I think that's what the plan is. They just wanted to lose the flame, wants to lose the spot. So they think they're not there. However, Spectronic not wasting any time, clearing down the one or two line. The sooner he does it, they will know where they are. Light tanks coming back to the field. They want to fake out that they're still on the field. They want to spot, spot Spectronic. Carib being aggressive. Kaiser trying to put shot. Or blind blind firing the top the zero line blind firing is very important as you know you know you might hit a shot you will get in for carib get spotted again so light tanks giving this illusion that they are on the field he's not spotted he outspotted the valor raisin still waiting waiting they have the time they can do that what i'm worried about is zoro he doesn't have any support so when the push comes he will die and that one tank advantage we'll see how it goes kaiser's continuously blind firing maybe if he pans a shot set someone on fire Flame AJ spots everyone going up high. That's never a good idea to go on a climb here because it just makes it, uh, you can be shot by every other tank. He spots everyone and now Raisin is going to the 1-2 line and that's exactly what Zen is set up for. I think they spotted Bad Chat and they thought someone is covering Bad Chat, but Zoro is basically playing with the mines. Zen playing with the mines. They thought... There won't be a bat yet just sitting there without any cover. That's what I would think, right? Uh, however, they do spot those heavies. So I, but so I, if I, if I'm in their shoes, I'm thinking, well, uh, maybe one or two tanks are covering him, and their one lines probably have one tank and two at best. Raisin managed to rotate. They did a good job, you know, rotating back without getting spotted at all. These two bats, I'm not sure what these bats are doing. Games can be decided by bad clips. If you pen 5 out of 5, that'll be it. The push is coming by 4 of Valors. This is... Valors not the best tank to push. Not to mention Flame AJ has to spot that light tank. Flame has to because that light's going to spot all these 4 guys and the jig will be up. And to be honest, they will not be able to kill Minotaro. It is like a single shot tank. But And as for Murat, all 4 of this, the tanks will be spotted. Jekyll takes a shot and bats are now coming in are they flashes bradley is not yeah they have to go for the valors though light still not spotted jackal down to 1400 the push is coming but it will not work one tank is spotted minute they will not be able to kill minotaro at all and i think when you're making the push you do need faster tanks as for get spotted murat murat moves minotaro will get spotted not spotted yet kaiser down to 600 jackal goes down bradley is now coming in bradley takes a tank out the punish is flashes down to one shot i think the bat kind of pushed one at a time and not together bradley takes a hit he still has a shot they should have maybe killed the light tank lights down to one bradley takes a double tap flame aj has health advantage minotaro is spotted let's see if they can finish minotaro can go either way nine four thousand hp in favor of zen they have basically a huge farm when the valors were pushing and maybe if they put it kill minotaro and then kill is4 as the tank advantage is in favor of raisin so it depends how they have to rotate health. Farm bots need to play safe. Murad is coming in to finish someone. On the other side, Zoro has now entered the battle. They do have two bats that are light alive, but they're kind of outside the game. They're pre-aiming this bat. Will they finish Zoro though? If those bats connect and kill Zoro, they, they fire one misses though. Bounced again while Zoro sets winged on fire. This bat chat not only held nine line by himself, he also managed to eat two or three shots without losing any hp and the potato shot potato shot goes down and it is 5v2 
Raisin had attack advantage at one point, but they did uh, lost a lot of HP uh, for that play, and uh, and they went down. I think if you have to push one line, you do need something faster. Even if I7s are banned, get like a CS to make the push, because it's not about one tank will die, right? But you want to get that vision quickly. Basically, light tank sitting on the two lines, managed to spot everyone, and they lost two, three thousand HP without managed to do any and the bats when they pushed they pushed one at a time i think if they had pushed together maybe they would have been healthy they did manage to focus out the chieftain but then both were down to one shot when they left zen up by two going over scoreboard i scored 3000 damage with two kills minotaur 2500 damage 2800 blocked uh, i actually i'm surprised is there a huddle spot there that he was able to block but again, Mintaro is small lower plate. Uh, Caravan Valor, 2200 damage and a kill. Caboose and Murat, 2000 damage, two kills. Zoro, again, that basically putting this one tag on the nine line. Played with Raisin's mind that they have more than that, just that Batcher over there. Which they didn't. And then eating hits received two, zero pence. Uh, Kai's 1200 damage. He was, the, he was a cheap that got focused out when Bats push. Spectronic with 900. Over on Raisin side, Predator Shot, 2600, Bradley and Bat, 1800, Winged and Valor, 1700, Flash and Bat, 1400, uh, about uh, 900 and 700 damage from Flame and Fireball. And Jackal, unfortunately, no damage. He was the first one to push, and usually the tank who has that, when you're making a blind push, the tanks that's leading the charge usually die. Yours is the first one to die. And. Do not usually get the damage. Let's update the score here. So the next map will be Sand River. If you aren't familiar with the rules, we'll put the rules up here. The default points for a tank is 10. There are some 11 point tanks, but if you want to play 11, you have to play like the corresponding nine point tank because it's 770, 70 points is the max you can do. Uh, and all the AVRE and all Warhammer 40 tanks are banned. And any new tags that come recently as well. Not sure why they're going Westfield. I think you have to go in order. And the next map is Sand River. Let's check what's going on in the chat. Westfield, we do not have an intro, but uh, Zen up by two. It is best of seven. So once one team wins four rounds, that will be it. I want to see a tiebreaker, but we'll see how that goes. Raisin picked their tanks, but I think Zen's waiting. They also are supposed to swap, I guess, but it doesn't matter. Zen doesn't care. Over on Raisin's side, we got a double bath, DS Chieftain, and a light tank. And on Zen's side, He's so far double chief and ice four light tank. We'll see what they have. Raisin wants to do attack. I don't know which it's difficult to say which side has an advantage. Comes down to the positioning. However, Zen is defending. And IS4, I don't think it's the best tank. If it comes to brawl on ridges, especially in Westfield, it will not be useful. However, we have seen Zen win the first two rounds where they play 260s, Minotauro, so we should not question anything, especially I shouldn't question any of their plays.
we're looking at the lineup i think it depends what you want i think murad does give you an advantage for a ridge fight you know you can dump your clip quickly reload again um that allows flexibility for rotation okay so no questions from anyone why about not you know rotating side or why plays best field Yeah, so Zen going with double Murat, not with the bats yet. Basically, they can Murat, very effective for a hull down fight. 12 degrees of gun depression, better than Chieftain. Obviously, also can dump a clip. Uh, and then, obviously, they have a double Chieftain, a CS. So, looking at it, if Zen, if they go for a C2 brawl, Zen has an advantage. With the Murat. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. It, it just all depends how many tanks. Will I, I for might not that be effective? But at the same time, uh, Raisin has double bats. I, I feel it's uh, it's even. The attacking teams does get to this brawling spot up top quickly. I mean, it depends if they're even coming for C2. They might be completely going to the other side. Going for a split play here. Flame AJ, AJ going down the zero line. Both bats, Chieftain. So everyone else is going up top. Flame probably want to spot. And Murat's actually going. They're not going for the brawl. Okay. So I I feel for the other side, bad jets are better. Uh, but Murat and CS going up top. Spectronics shielding them. Not shielded enough, but luckily there was no one else. Flame AJ going. I don't think he will be able to get out. Without without any support. If you're crossing that far, that is not ideal. He has to spot. Spectronic pushes. He spots two guys. He needs to run now. I mean, CS obviously has to switch off. Now, turbo mode, Spectronic will not let Flame drop the spot. And Murat's can basically dump a clip. Flame will go down. There are too many autoloaders, too many tanks. And he goes down. Definitely not idle for Raisin. And that's the thing. If you want to spot in a light tank by yourself, that's fine. Just do not overextend. Or that can happen. They're already a tank down. And Raisin knows where... Sorry... Zen knows where Raisin is. Raisin wants to go up and over. Their medium has they have to wait for their heavies to get there. They can still win if they send it. Like send it across. They have some info. They know three tanks are out of the game. The push has to come, but it has to be, be together. If they do push, we have seen the four and one line push at the same time works. They can they will be able to get rid of these two chieftains without men much issues, especially because their CS and Murata come still out of the battle. Same with the light tank. They have to push and they have to push now. Zoro will be able to farm as they cross. We'll get early info, maybe get two or three shots. Medium. The more time Raisin allows Zen to get in position, the, bad, the, the worse the push will be. The push is now coming. One tank can stay up top. Jackal again leading the push. Medium, they're not in position, but they will be shortly. Jackal gets tracked. Takes another shot. Both bats and CS are coming. They can take a shot. Farmbots has to stay up. But however, I feel cold heart will die here because murad is in position jackal dragged out in the open again not having the best game jacob down to 900 if they kill these two tanks and it will be 2v2 they need to kill greeny so that both teams they, they lose two tanks we needed a valor up there did he stay up no farm bots crossed as well i think now they have given up the high ground and not an idol the tanks are same farm bots will go down they can sit on the cap won't matter you do need one tank up top to for the cap to work spectronic take a shot however the guys on the cap will be spotted they have two heavies zoro doesn't have the gun depression so maybe they can punish maybe there's a chance zoro is coming in 37 for seconds for reset two heavies are up top murad and coming the thing is these those two mediums are spotted and light tank will have shot apollo down to one shot he will go down flash is spotted as well bradley coming back to help bradley is the one that's not spotted uh, they have to kill is4 is4 is down to one shot farm bots has to take is4 and then finish kaiser kaiser is basically putting shots on the side spectronic spotted it's been in favor of then uh then spectronic down to one shot farm bots go down spectral go down can they finish kaiser if if they kill kaiser this can go either way it just depends how both paths bradley gets spotted to get takes a shot he is Loaded though, Kaiser doesn't need to do anything. They have 34 seconds. Carib is coming. Caboose is full health. Kaiser takes a shot. Cold hearted. Takes a shot on the side. Will go down here from Carib. Now it's 3v2. 
and in favor of Zen. I think round three should go to Zen as well. I think it could have gone in a very different direction if they leave one tank up there because that tank would have farmed. Again, we have the, the top view, which is so easier said than done. And not to mention reason we're down a tank when the push started. And they also like waited a little bit like 20, 20 seconds sooner would have been a different scenario because the mediums managed to get in position to punish, especially the Murat. No more room for error for Raisin. So round three goes to that as well. Caribbean Murat, 4k damage, 3 kills, 11 out of 12. Caboose in Murat with 3k damage and a kill. Zoro and Ice for 2400 damage. Still managed to do a decent amount of damage considering he did had a gun depression to draw with the uh, uh, Hello Chieftain. Sky didn't see us. 2400 damage and a kill. Green second Chieftain. Uh, he was one of the people who got pushed. 1300 damage. Jacob, unfortunately, no damage. Light tank with 800. Over on Raisin side, Cold Hearted, 3200 damage. Flash in batch at 2400. Badly in batch at 2400. Armbots and Chieftain, 1500. And I think the problem here uh, was uh, Light Tank dying early on and Jackal Boy again getting farmed as he crossed. He was the first one who got trapped. Basically, he was going to die when they made the push, so not his fault. However, maybe one tank stay up. Maybe it could have been different, but you never know. Zen up by 3. 3 to 0. All they need is one more round, and that will be a 4 0 sweep for Zen. However, we have seen reverse sweeps. Raisin can do a comeback. They do kind of like what Zen did, you know? Nothing going back about it. Do you think they picked Murat so they'll go for a brawl? But actually, they went to the other side <laughs> and caught the light tank off. So never question Zen plays. Not a, it's not about the tanks, it's how you use them. You can play with your opponent mind. If I was playing, I would assume the same, that Murat will come for a brawl. That never happened. Raise it on defense. They do say defense is a little bit easier, but we'll see. Raisin going very heavy, four heavies, double chieftain, double valor, a CS and a bat and a light tank. So maybe they want to go up for a top brawl, but heavies are usually slow to get there from defense. Let's look at our prediction. What was predicted? We had a bit let it run for 30 minutes. So maybe you know, they teams or people saw the two lead by Zen made the prediction a little easier for them. Um, let's check the ratio here about the points prediction. Raise in 39% with 15k points and Zen 61% with 50k points. So 1 to 2.58 versus 1 to 1.63 the wagers. Yeah, to, oh, 31 actually 31k points to 50k points. I had a little okay. I hope I didn't delete. Deleted the prediction. That is it. The raise it. We need a tiebreaker. We need to see some rounds here. We know raising can do it, but being three zero down, you know, it's tough on morale. You know, not easy. The closer you get, all the but however, all they need is one round, and then things can quickly shift. Because if they win this sand river, they're technically supposed to play defense first. This will not going to work. This is not going to work. They have abandoned the entire map. Are they going up? Jackal going to the left side, E1. They have uh, Valor going left side. 
you will not be able to win any map any map in general if you abandon the entire however zen is going to the left side so it's not the worst thing they can if they since zen abandoned the top side they all went to the other side flame ages spots and leaves they can still get the tanks up there and play the top side forces zen to uh, go for cap so this can still work however they need the top side you cannot abandon this top side if you want to turtle, you have to turtle in a way where you still have map control. Flame Mage is now rotating. These two chieftains are going forward. There are too many tanks. There were, there's already a Valor to blind fire the guy if they get to the cap. So I don't see the reason for three chieftains to be there. What they're ignoring is the top. That's where they need tanks. That's my worry. Then gets the top. It, they will not. They'll basically farm these chieftains. Jackal boy has to commit, however, he's being extra careful. He's usually the guy that pushes first and end up dying. And they want to avoid that again. Maybe this time Raisin's playing with Zen's mind. None of their teams, no, neither team is at C2. So this is really straight. So maybe it can work. As I said, you know, what, what I feel works or not work in my mind doesn't always the case, right? It kind of depends how the two teams end up playing. Flame Mage gets spotted. This is not ideal. This spot spectroning. No punish though. Flame spot the light tank. Winged Apollo gets spotted. Flash put a shot in. They want to cap. Now what, what we have to see is when does Zen realize that C2 is empty? I guess when these chieftains are spotted, right? They're assuming three chieftains. They can't win the hull down battle. Maybe that's why they went send seven line if they're thinking about it on the fly. But none of these chieftains are at C2. The pings are coming. We see the ping. Rotations are coming. And this is about to change everything. I'm not sure what side. I think I'm on the Zen side. Hence the green. They are going up. And once they find out. Are they? They're not. They just want a double cap here. Spectronic carefully getting onto the cap. Both teams. They have made an agreement that they will only play 50% of the map. We don't see any tanks above E line. I guess there is. You know, two tanks at E, but not really doing anything. So Light will now come for spot. And to be honest, he will just easily spot them. And we, they might even lose a Bat and a Light, to be honest. They have three of these Chieftains. Yep, Light is not coming in for spot. That is the wrong side to go for spot. But I guess maybe, maybe he can get away with it. Maybe he can get away. Like, I think if you do it from the top side, it's better. Light gets spotted. Light dies. Flame is still alive. So maybe that was the down to one shot. Down to one shot, almost flip, and goes down, yeah. Heath would have been way easier if he goes through the top, go to the house, and you're safe. Zoro is spotted. They need to destroy this house. Can they, though? Is it destructible? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it's not. Takes another shot, he's spotted. No need to peek when you're spotted. Both teams lost their light tank. However, Zen now knows where the entire raisin is, and they're free to rotate. So I think the goal of this ES is to punish the guy on the cap, just to provide additional angle. And now they're going up. HP even, tanks even. Yep, Uncle Buck is leading the charge. And those chiefs will essentially take a lot of punish once they get to... Once they have a tank at C1, those chieftains will be rendered useless because now they don't even have a tank to spot. However, about 5 minutes, 30 seconds... Zen either push into them or get on the cap. And maybe if they are pushing into them, maybe it can work. It depends because these two, these three chieftains were safe from the right side. And if no one's capping, I guess they can stay low. Jackal has to be careful though. He, this cannot be the game where he lose, where he's the first one to die because he can. He's a great, okay, he spots the guy. He needs to run. Uncle Bucks gets spotted. Uncle Bucks worried. That is totally unnecessary. You spot the tank, you know he's not by himself. He needs to run or he will die. They're getting two guys on the cap. They get spotted and punished. Kaiser takes a double tap. If Rise Raisin wins this, I would be surprised though, to be honest. But again, Zen played it in a way where they didn't... Maybe Jackal can stay alive here when they come for him. All chieftains punish. Willing is out of the game. But I think Zen's play is... They can't cap. They can't do anything at C2 now. I mean, 
I think C2 is only helpful if you know you put cap pressure and have the guys on the other side. But if you're not gonna do cap, I don't see C2 being effective. And they're actually going for the push on the one line. This will not work. Jekyll spots them coming in. Are they coming? Oh, it's it's tough. It's not. CS doesn't have the best armor, and if they slowly start shooting him, let's see. Okay, he is spotting them. He is completely hidden. He can hide. So if they're going for the one-two line push, that will not work. Jekyll gets spotted again. HP is in favor of Raisin. It's the time. That's the problem. Zen's kind of... Jackal puts another shot on Uncle Buck. Jackal. Maybe could be the deciding factor on the, in this game. But now Zen's panicking mainly because they're down to three minutes. Light tank's not there for the cap pressure. Maybe they'll go straight. They're going four line. If they go four line and no one contests CS, he will farm. They go four line, they will not be able to punish those chieftains either. So it depends how they plan to push. Kaiser is going to the, through the other side. Maybe he'll go to the cap. Again, three minutes, not much time remaining. I've also already taken two shots of damage. Bradley gets spotted. He's full health. Flash, full health. Willing's full health. Potato shot is full health. And now if they have to push into Hulldown Chieftains, that will not be ideal. Kaiser may be trying to spot any of them, but he will not be able to punish even if they are spotted at all because those Chieftains are tucked in inside. The only time he can punish is when they peek for reset. But no one is capping. I'm not sure what the player is waiting for. Kaiser timer is not on Zen's side. They're putting two chieftains on uh, CS on the back. The way it looks, this will go in Raisin's favor because those CSs, they won't have any shots. Will they? Kaiser did go all the way to the border to get a wider angle. All Willing has to do is peek. He will spot Kaiser. Maybe they're going for Willing. They're going for Willing to get shot. Willing spots Kaiser. Yo, he has a bad shot to help him. Flash is in position. Kaiser's down to 800. Bats put one. Kaiser's down to one shot. Is he dead? No. Survives at one. He goes down over on the GB door. Goes down to the other side. Uncle Buck goes down. They ignored Jackal. You know, that's what happened when you leave Jackal. When Jackal stays alive, they win the game. I'm surprised. Like, I thought it's just Zen has the game. But again, I feel it's how the caller reads the game based on lineup and if you make the bad play even something simple does not seem that obvious however now it's sand river defense if a raven wins sand defense which is very heavily favored then the pressure will be on zen and raven will be 3-2 i am glad it's not a 4-0-3-1 can raven pull it back because if, if Zen lose two rounds in a row, all that morale that they were running high on will be, they'll panic. So, on Zen side, Zoro, 2200 damage, Sweet Piaz for 18, 1900 damage, Carabin CS, 1800 damage, not much damage from anyone else. Over on Raisin Jackal, the MVP, 3800 damage, three kills, Potato Shot in Valor, 2400 damage, and then about 2000 damage from the remaining. Valors and Chieftains and Light Tank with a 1500 assist. Light did die, Flame AJ. I still think the top side is the safer way to go. But he managed to get rid of the Light, but died in return as well. Next round, Sand River. Like if they had flow, if they follow the flow, Raisin is supposed to defense. Uh, because every map, the first defending side should be raised. And they didn't do it, do it in Westfield, but we'll see. Highbreaker is Ghost Town. And Raisin got the much needed confidence as one one win is all you need
i7 is banned, so Raisin is going for 277. They have started paying the tags, but forgot to switch the map. We can see with this, it's a lot of lot of panic going on. And it happens, you know. I lose one round, I basically lost the entire series. That's how it goes with me. More often than not. Uh, so in terms of tank flash, we win Murat, Willing, Super Kong, Bradley, Grill, Potato Shot 277, Jackal Chieftain, Willing, oh, Farm Boss Chieftain, and Cold Heart in CS. Okay, switching building, switching uh, Valor instead of Super. Can 277 do the same thing that I7 can, wherever they're planning to use it? Zen thinking, they're thinking. Sand River attack, not the easiest. Very defense favored map. You have to kind of go. Like everyone in the attacking team, they cannot make a mistake to win if you want to win Sand River. Everyone has to play, you know, very carefully, conserve HP, trade better. That's the only way you win. And on Zan's side, the first tank we see is a 60 TP. Not sure, not sure how they'll play it. But Sand attack with 60. Maybe the plan is to get into get him to the reverse bowl and punish the guy at A8. Double 60! They are going with the Tehran. You know when double 60 are selected, then the next tank will be a Tehran. And if I remember, it was Sweet P playing the Tehran. Spectronic with Light Tank. Yeah, they're a little bit too odd. Not too, but I guess just using Grill. Not sure if how useful Grill will be. But it does have the shell velocity to put a dent in a tank more efficiently than compared to other tanks. And Raisin is ready with their lineup. Zen still picking up tanks. Carib with Murat, Kaiser in CS, Spectronic with a light tank. Two more tanks. I think it will be a Tehran and maybe another medium or maybe a Chieftain. Switching. Zoro switching. Kaiser switching. What's happening? Oh, not switching. Just making sure it's the right tank. Zoro goes to Chieftain. That means there will be someone else who will be playing 60 TP. Will that be... No? Okay, so they're not going for Tron. They will be using B5. And B5 only costs 11 points. Yeah, I think 260... I was thinking 260 is a little too much. Especially for attack. Does not help that much. So 160 B5, they can... Uh, they can work better. And one more tank from Zen. Zoro selecting, thinking, or making sure. It is Chieftain. Who will be the last tank or player? Will it be green or green? Too many greens. Okay. It's a greeny. It is Chieftain. Raisin opting against the light tank. And you can get away with Sand River defense. If on any of the map. You can get away with the light tank. If that is sand, more often than not, sand defense. And I think this this game, favored in defense, and if Raisin can win it, they can. You know, gain that confidence, much needed confidence. 277 going forward uh, towards the H9, K0 spot, probably H9. And then we have both Chieftains in the bowl, Flash and Murat. Going to A8 over on Zen side. They're sending it. They have the Chieftain is crossing in the middle. This should never happen. A Chieftain managed to cross for free. 
that CS should have been at A8 from the beginning. This, you cannot let this happen. Two chieftains cross for free. It's not even an I7. CS was pushing grill. You don't need to push the grill. Now, Murad is there. They, they don't even know that two of the tanks are already spotted. They will have shots on 277 if they push around the zero line. Um, there is an Ispit 60 TP at A3. V5 on the backside as well. However, I think 277 might be okay because they only have two medium a CS and a Murad to push 277. But it depends how, how they bleed it. CS is rotating back to help. The, the 277. Or maybe spot something as well. Yeah, I think Raiden missed the opportunity to get that punish. However, they're still in an okay position. Mainly because... Oh, Wing Apollo trying, getting ready for shots. Jackal gets spotted, but those two chieftains are still not spotted. That's the most interesting thing. That those two chieftains are not spotted, and I'm not even sure if they can. Maybe farm can if he peaks, however, he will take a lot of damage in return. Guys are going for 277. 277 has to play very effectively. Those chieftains are in position to fence 277. Kaiser is just running on how is no one getting shooting him? They missed the shot, they missed the second. Guys are running. This is not a good play. 277. Of grill pans in. Potato shot takes a shot. Now he he has to be careful. I think they could have killed Kaiser over there. That grill coming in handy. You know, making sure you pans those chieftains. They missed their shot. I think it was CS and 277. Uh, CS and a grill that panned Kaiser. Who is now, he doesn't have the HP. He's trying to rotate back. I think the goal was that when he goes around 277 panics. And those chieftains will punish. I think they were only able to put two shots. Potato shot knows where they are. Is he safe from those chieftains? Kind of is. At least now they know that there are two chieftains over there. Farm bot spots greeny. Down to seven minutes. Guys is rotating to the other side. Can they rotate? They don't they don't have the bad chats either to uh then doesn't have the bad chats either to push or make a cl uh, to clip or get to A7 easily. They have a CS at 900 and a Murad. So if if a Raisin can get two of their tanks to A7, currently they only have a Murat, right? That's spotting, but even if, if the Valor is there, then uh, it's very difficult for them to push. Murat to get blind fired by 60 TP. Did he pen? He penned a shot in return. You know, when a Murat and 60 trades, you expect 60 to win, but in this case, it's the opposite. They're one shot. Hey, okay, force the reload. They are now rotating to jump on these chieftains. Bradley has to be careful to not get spotted. This this looks like a risk. If we get spotted, drive forward. Might lose the entire tank. I think they're getting ready to jump these chieftains, but if everyone is positioned, they will be able to farm. What can you jump them with, right? Like two chieftains will come in, Murat will come in because you might kill those chieftains, but you will take damage getting out as well. Spectronic at a great position because if that CS tries to shoot, uh, punish the guys, he will get shot back by the light tank. It depends how coordinated the push is. He they get spotted by Valor willing Apollo, so now they know that a push is coming. Willing takes a T shot from sixty. If they push from this side, I think Flash will be able to dump a clip. This Valor will punish. Also, Bradley knows. They now know that they're planning to push. I'm worried about they don't, they don't have anyone coming from the left side. So if they just go up and over, a little bit unconventional. But if they do that, it will not go in their favor. Farmbot being trying aggressive, try, trying to punish. 60 TP. Kaiser gets spotted, takes a shot down to 463. The push is coming. Chieftain are too close. They're too close and making it easier. For the other team to jump them. They are coming. Sweet be coming in. Tracks. Amorex. They're all there. I'm not sure what's happening. They are, the punish is coming. Chieftains are farming. All those guys are together. Just getting farmed from different direction. Grill not able to punish. They have to kill Kaiser. They kill farm bots. Jackal still alive. Focus fire was there. Too much punish. Grill has to punish Greeny Sick. He did. If they can kill Greeny. Greeny is doing... He should have just pushed forward. He's reversing slowly. Valor will put another shot. He's that Bradley on fire. That could be game changer. Grill gets... Set on fire. Murat comes to help. Who has HP? Raisin does. 
Sweet sweet peed out in one shot. He's dead. Willing still holding. Holding. Bradley is alive. Green is 250. HP. Yeah. Raisin has almost twice the HP. The only, only one with HP on Zen side is Murad. Spectronic also. He decided to push. And lost most of his HP. Flash is now coming in to finish. Zoro takes a shot from Flash. Flash puts another one. Zoro down to one shot. And he finished. Made his shot count. Kaiser goes down from Bradley. And this route should go to Zen. I think if he if they had to push, they kind of saw with the A it does maybe push through the other side. And they kind of pushed kind of predictable way. Even though Chieftains were very forward, that's I was expecting Chieftains to die sooner, but they didn't. I think it's basically fixed when five of your tanks go, go to one spot, it usually doesn't work out. Especially if that spot is in the middle of a crossfire spot or an intersection. Carib still full health. Murat, 1v1. Can Carib finish Flash? No, both bounce are tracked. And building a pull coming in. And another shot. Carib has given up, raising his barrel. Light goes down by... I'm not sure who finished the light. Three, two. Raisin getting the much needed win. So we're on Zen's side. Greeny, 2100 damage. Carabin Murad, 1800 damage. Zero and 1500 damage. Sweet P. 268, 1500. Light Technic, 1500. Pi, Zen and CS, 1100. And Caboose, 800. Over on Raisin's side, Willing Apollo and Valor. Making a short count at a 44k damage. Two kills. Flash and Murad also making the right rotation, finishing off tanks with 3,700 damage, two kills. Bradley and Grill with hitting that crucial shot in the beginning into Kaiser and then getting another shot on Greeny. However, it does get unlucky, got set on the first fire by the Chieftain, but I think it didn't matter at that point. Cold Hard in, yes, with 1,600 damage, two kills. Potato shot 277, 1,300 damage. And then Jekyll with 1,000 and farm bots with two shots. Let's see the block damage. The farm bots blocked three shots. That's a little bit too much. Hits received eight, hits received five. So no block from Jackal. So, as I said, Sand River attack or defense is easier. But if you have lost two rounds in a row, something simple can just become unnecessary complicated as well. We'll see how Raisin attacks and how Zen defends. Zen's going for IS-4 instead of 277 since the IS-7 is banned. And Raisin opting for a 268. Is 268 something you want to use? I guess it depends how you play, but in an attack, using a fixed circuit tank is not that, not a, not that easy. Yeah, Zen's ready with all their tanks, and they have also picked Minotauro. They did it in Strock, worked for them. And to be honest, at 8, Minotauro, good luck. However, it does have the rotating constraint. We'll see how it goes. So Zen going with double Chieftain, double Murat, IS-4, Minotauro, and a light. Over on Raisin's side, we have double Chieftain of Valor. Murat, yes. 268 and a light tech. Lack of bad chats on Sand River is something, especially Sand Attack, is something not, I'm, a, I'm not a fan of. I think it's one of the maps where you need to rotate and the bad clip can come in handy. We'll see. Raisin sees Minotauro. Let's see what they do. If Raisin wins this round, I think they'll take the next round just because you have come back from 3-0 deficit. I think game will be over after this round.
either Raisin wins or lose. Kaiser going aggressively for the spot. In the light tank, he doesn't spot anything. However, these two guys will get spotted. Potato Shot gets spotted. Farm bots get spotted. Farm best bot. Jackal boy gets takes a shot. Takes another one. Takes another one. And that is the last thing. He's dead. He's perma tracked. Kaiser spots him. They were very aggressive in their morats to punish. Jackal boy is down to one shot. And I think that's gonna be it for Jackal boy. He will go down. He survives at 200. Farm bots finally goes and spots them. That run for Ka uh, with, for, with uh, of Kaiser paid off. Dig takes one shot, and now Jackal has to play very, very carefully. They lost the tank before the battle even began. I guess that's what they were using the Murats for, getting into position immediately, and whatever light spots Murat will dump a clip in, and they did. Two thousand HP difference. An uphill battle for Raisin. So they're trying to go to the left side where they will meet the Murat and Light Tank. Not sure where the Light Tank is over there. Not providing any pit, any advantage. Okay, he's now going for spot. Trying to spot anything. They can't cap either farm bots is on the reverse hill not able to provide any info though he needs to get some info spot either the light tank or the murat but he's getting proxy spotted by the chieftains which can be easily avoided and when he does that he takes a shot the light tank is on the cap kaiser will spot no, raisin is too split i feel flame Age is capping kaiser will be coming to Bought the light tank. They have to kill Kaiser. Like if they kill Ka Kaiser, takes fall damage, almost two hundred. He's also going through the wrong side, though. I don't think that's the side you would go for cross two six eight. Put a big hit in Greeny, Flame Age. I, he hope his. I hope he's turned towards the other side where he can just dunk out. Kaiser is spotted. One minute. Yeah. Okay. He was. That's double tap. Flame takes just one tech. Takes two shot. He survives. If they can kill Kaiser here, that will be huge. Kaiser, I think 268 is making his shots count. That is the key here. I feel Flame could have got out more easily, but he didn't. Kaiser still spotted. He can still go for round two as well as long as he is. So he because he will. What's the HP? They have reduced deficit to 500. If Flame had only taken one shot, it would have been a different scenario. But he did take two. He can get on the cap again. Kaiser has to be careful. He's playing with fire. If he dies. Murats will have to come in, but I think the position that Kaiser took is not the right one. You have to come through to the 8 line. Flame AJ. Okay, 268 wants to do some more damage here. Bradley definitely connecting. I think this could be the key. If this 268 gets a couple more big hits into one of those chieftains or Murats, that will decide the game. Flash is now rotating out. Is that a blind fire? That's a blind fire. Farm boss is also healthy. He is being covered by Jackal though. Jackal's one, Kaiser's one. But I still feel Zanzan an advantage because it's Sand River. Oh, 2 6 is bouncing shots. Blind. They, yeah, he was not spotted, but they know exactly where he is. And they pen him at least once. I don't know how many hits he took. Kaiser has will be coming in for round two. Oh, missed again. Farm bots has to. What? Wait, maybe the eyes for actually can just go K line. Let me see. Is Flame AJ? Yep, he is in a position to run away. Yeah, I think the fall damage on Kaiser didn't really matter because he would still be one shot if he survived. And there goes Light Tank. Zoro spots him. Not enough punish on Zoro, and everyone was preempt. Flame goes down, and now. Things become even more difficult because Zoro also spotted 268. Flash is coming in for IS4, but it's an IS4, and there will be tanks coming in to help Zoro. Maybe he'll just, if he can just stay here and they can farm another shot into the chief, then IS4 takes a shot. Flash is still alive. No, Raisin hasn't given up yet. 
Minotaro takes a shot. I'm not sure how these tanks are getting keep getting spotted. Murad takes a double tap. He didn't need to. Kaiser is spotted. If farmbots connect, if farmbots connect, this could be. No, actually, they still can't cap. But at least they will get rid of a tank. Missed again. Kaiser. Surviving is just a huge issue for Raisin. Raisin is up on HP now, though. Now he's one shot for eyes for flash is one shot he should have retreated back if he was reloading farm bots not able to punish zoro when he peaked i think he had a window yeah but uh, despite losing jackal early on they didn't give up raisin still played their game still brought up the hp but sand attack is not easier easiest the murats are now pushing from the backside. they will finish farm bots he has to be careful. He will have like too many angles. It's another shot in Zoro. Potato shots is coming in. He can. Can he? He bounced. Flash has to survive and not do it. Flash puts a shot. Chieftain has to connect. They have to kill Zoro. Kaiser goes down. And Zoro is down to one shot. Minotaro is down to three shots. Farmbot's playing really effective here. Pushed forward so Murat can't shoot him. Minotaro survives. Someone needs to kill Minotaro. 268 maybe. As Zoro is also alive. Chieftain's down to one shot. Now they're just bouncing shots. Zoro is down to one shot. How is he not dead? Jackal boy starts staying alive at one shot. They will about they are about to push farm bots. Murat is coming in. They had enough of it. HP in favor. 2500 in favor of Zen. Their chieftains are essentially healthy. Their Murat's full health. Minotaur turned and is a they're going for a last ditch effort to cap so they can kill Zoro. They can. That's the thing. They only have one medium. The farm mouse is on the forward side. Jacob takes a big hit. That's the last attempt to cap. Farm bot survives. Minotaro can't shoot him. So they have to jump farm bot. And when they do, Raisin needs to make sure they kill a tank. This is the last opportunity. They, they don't have the HP. They can't cap again. HP actually down to. 1300 difference only farm bots is in a very strong position making things a lot harder for them than it should be Zoro is down to one shot. He can peak potato shot needs to stay alive. 268 is now coming into the cap Jackal boy goes down. He was one shot. He needed to be super careful that that made things harder Minotaro goes down over on that. No, not go down still down to HP. Now he goes down Chieftain finishes him Zoro if they if farm bots can finish Zoro if farmbots can finish Zoro, who's hiding from him using that rock, Potato Shot cannot peek. And if Ice 4 will peek, he will get spotted. Carib takes a shot. Kaboos coming from the bar backside. They, they have to kill farmbots, and they do now. Farmbots put another shot. He goes down. 268 misses, and that will be it. Both Murat and 268 are spotted. They needed to kill Zoro. If they had killed Zoro and taken that aggressive position, things would have been different. 268 is on cap. Can they cap though? Not with one tank. Murat is coming. Bing, Billing Apollo also. He was out of the game the entire time. As for does go down. But Murat is in a very aggressive position. I feel if Bing Apollo was more close when the battle came towards the last few stages, it could have made a difference. Maybe you could have played where Jackal was as well. Let's see how, how much uh, was he able to. Yeah, he does have 1500 damage. Murat finishes. Uh, Chieftain. And he will be able to finish 268. And I think that will be it. Despite losing that lot of HP early on. Raisin still fought until the end. Really good play by CS3. Then it took a long time for Zen to figure out what to do with that CS. And once Jackal died, right, they were able to do it more effectively <clears throat> that's 20 seconds 268 versus for zen carib is reloading murat is reloading can 268 put another shot he does no roll though job, going over the the damage here 
Caboose and Murat 2800 damage and 4 kills. Car Carib and Murat 2600 damage and a kill. Green and Chieftain 2200 damage, 2 kills. Zorena has 4 2100 damage and that crucial spot on the light tank that got him killed. Jake and Chieftain 1600 damage. Sweet Pin Minotaro 1500. Kaiser light tank 1100 and 2700 assists. Survived for way longer than he should have. Over on Raisin's side, we have Bradley in 268, 4,000 damage. Farm bots in CS, 2,900 damage. Potato shot at Chieftain, 1,600 damage, 2 kills. I th I still feel they should have killed the last 4, but I guess they were taking all the shots from those Chieftain as well. Flash and Murat, 1,500 damage at a kill. Willing and Valor with 1,300. Flame and Light Tank, 500 damage. And Jackal, but unfortunately, no damage from him uh, on that position. If they if he had some health, maybe he could have been more aggressive trading, but I think that's what it come came down to. Oh, we came back, yeah, but that is it for the game. And Zen will progress to the next round. It's still double elimination, so Raisin will have another chance. Uh that is it for today. GG to both teams. Raisin did try to make a comeback. <clears throat> Um, but the sand river attack not the easiest so this is what you think and congrats to zen for winning that's it from me i'll reboot the stream and we'll play on twitch but that's it for me thanks for watching guys